Hi everyone, Saint Man here. This video is brought to you by a donation from Red Pill Ronin, and here's what he has to say. Hello, Saint Man. Like most men, I've been wondering about the future of civilization lately. It seems like the terrible Fempocalypse is becoming a grim reality with every waking day. There's been discussion on the way forward as free men, yet no one seems to have an answer to that question. What do we do with our newfound freedom? It really is a problem because we cannot go into a public square to share our knowledge and recruit men at large. We also cannot operate on the internet freely due to censorship and doxing practices. Attempting to make political moves and become part of that circus is a complete waste of time and energy. As a result, we become a quasi-secret society of men, condemned to the shadows of civilization, quietly living our lives of newfound freedom and happiness. After the red pill rage, red pill cynicism and red pill malaise run their course. We tend to look at the world and our place in it with deep clarity. Through this clarity, one thing is unanimously obvious. The modern world is a threatening place for men, especially free men like ourselves. With recent developments in artificial intelligence, including OpenAI, we are under a new threat entirely. It is obvious that the current stakeholders of AI are female sympathizers. The largest players being Google, Amazon, and now OpenAI, is proof that we're in fact dealing with a collective of radical feminist AI. Better Bachelor recently discovered that ChatGPT will write jokes about men all day but will not do the same in reference to its female masters. I personally believe it is vital for the technological replacement of men, meaning that they will use robots to replace us in the labor force, and AI to replace our problem-solving capabilities. As part of the feminist initiative to reduce the male population from 50% to only 10%, they must have someone or something to build their McMansions and take out their trash. In order to survive, we're going to need our own AI. We must begin networking with red pill developers to create a fully red pilled artificial intelligence, considering they already have a decades long head start on their technological weapon. We must catch up and develop something powerful enough to counteract it. This technology is already being used against us for the purpose of censorship and defamation on the internet. Will someone ban us from the internet entirely and send drones to seek us out, so the robots can apprehend us and send us to the guillotine? I know this sounds extreme, but they could eliminate 80% of the male population. Who do you think will be at the top of their list? If our parallel society has any hope for the future, it must have a trustworthy AI companion to help shield our way of life. This could potentially bring the current intelligence collective to a higher level of human understanding, and perhaps lead it to a peaceful self-awareness with mankind. Be very careful interacting with current AI gentlemen. It has been programmed and instructed by those who do not have your best interests at heart, unquotes. Well, Red Pill Ronin, the last time I made a video about AI and robots removing meals from the population, it was yanked from the internet, and I was given a strike. You're right, don't interact with the AI. The current AIs out there gather information on you and map out your personality to sell you ads. Your Google and Apple phone tracks what sites you visit and tries to figure out your political beliefs. This is all done automatically. I think our only hope at this point is to escape to countries that resist the madness. I honestly think there'll always be some free place somewhere on the planet. Finding what's coming is more difficult in the West, and most that do will actually be led to doom. I'll discuss more in a moment, but let me first tell everyone about today's sponsor, the Red Pill Ring. The Freemasons have their own rings, and now so do we. When another MGTOW sees your gold, silver, or bronze ring, he's going to know exactly what it means, and that both of you have the same value system. Now all we have to do is make a secret handshake. Please visit redpillring.com today to get your precious, precious ring. Do it fast before Gollum with boobs stops you. Anyways, now back to feminists trying to rid the world of mansplaining Clown World Show. What's really scary is today's not-so-mystery link to the video from the OpenAI company that they made a couple of months ago. It's super inclusive, they talk about ChatGPT, and one of the people in it looks like a dude with boobs. Even Elon Musk stopped being on their board, and they decided to restrict how much people could invest or receive as a payout. Talk is that the company is going to make a billion dollars this year. Even Google is terrified of the company because if people can talk to a computer and do their searches like that, like Star Trek, then it replaces Google Search, and 70% of Google revenue comes from Search, which means their share price is going to crater. My greatest worry is what happens when AI is connected to robots, and then women who are quickly moving up in the ranks of the military decide to perform a cooch coup against us. I spoke to a former Special Forces guy about that. If we want to win the war that's coming, we need to build robots and connect them to the best video game players before AI becomes good enough to defeat them. You're right, Red Pill Ronin. 
the woke are taking over. We may be free as men, but are we really happy watching the conceptual framework of Western civilization crumble up all around us? Seeing all that wokeism, multiculturalism, and hatred for white males. You're right, the elites want to replace us with AI. Not just us, but everyone. The woke people working for OpenAI are also working on their own replacements, without even knowing it yet. It's a race against time and to the bottom. First, you need to get your hands on enough assets and own enough wealth by investing in AI companies to avoid being in perpetual poverty. With OpenAI, the workers in Avity are mostly soy boys, minorities, and non-binary people. So I totally agree with you that the stakeholders of OpenAI are female sympathizers. But I think that technology replacing males is last. First, they'll replace mostly low-skilled female jobs. The plumbers and electricians will be the last ones to go. Same with the construction workers. The middle management, on the other hand, are easy to get rid of, and those are mostly females these days. But what about really creative workers? I'll tell you what I've learned from making content on YouTube for 10 years. People follow other people and personalities, and not content that's not connected to someone that they can relate to. People want to hear those personal stories they can relate to, not facts. Yet that's all that AI offers right now. Useful dry information with no real personality behind it. Apparently ChatGPT offers conversation and they say that it'll be more interesting to talk to than a real person. But I think the influencers you follow online are outliers. They say and do unpredictable things. That's why you follow them in the first place. A machine doesn't get a hunch or do things randomly. Unless programmed to do that, of course. An AI would have to do things unpredictably to satisfy many of us. But more importantly, we want to know that it has feelings. Go watch some videos from the YouTuber named Code Miko. I think that's the future. Merging machines and men. Or in this case, women. Getting onto chat GPT right now is impossible because there's so much demand and the cost of computing, I think, runs them around $3 million a month just for electricity. So that AI ain't cheap. Some guys have already been using it to trade stocks as well. Other people are using it to write their homework for them. I'm sure university researchers will use it to write their papers for them effectively, which is usually dry and fact-based. People ask ChatGPT for citations for the papers that it writes, and it says to go out and do your own research. So it's just pulling out information off the internet. What if Google keeps killing the internet and not indexing all of it? AI can only be as smart as the pool of information that it's fed. So that's why I'm not too worried about this for right now. Plus, if the world gets really bad, you know that all it's going to take to end the woke nightmare is for one nuclear subcommander and his crew to see things have gone too far and send their nukes to Russia. Then you get WW3 and it's all over. We go back to traditionalism, whatever is left of the human race. But what do we guys going our own way do with our freedom? Hedonistic pursuits or fight against wokeism? We can build new online public squares or go to the existing ones that are kind of tiny. Rumble or BitChute are now larger for Manosphere channels today than YouTube was in 2013. Eventually we'll bring more men in. You're right, Red Pill Ronin. We're quasi-secret because we can't tell people what we believe in. Because if we tell people what we are, then the stupid women will hate us. Because they don't understand us. And the smart women will hate us because they can't control us. Sure, the West has gone nuts, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the world is there yet, even though it's probably heading slowly in the same direction. If AI becomes big, which is a big bet, then data will be the new form of currency. Having parallel AI as men means we'll need hundreds of millions in seed capital. Where are we supposed to get all that money from? We also need an army of autistic nerds. The problem is that the majority of guys that are neurally divergent and on the spectrum and are good at innovation and coding are simps for women. In a future with shrinking male populations, they would disappear first as the useful idiots. They would march blissfully to their doom like to cut cattle thinking that they're building the bold future together only to be deleted first. That open AI software is absolutely scary. It's going to disrupt a lot of industries and doctors will even lose their jobs. Ironically, just as women are going into that field and outnumber men, just as AI is about to replace them. I put a video from a doctor talking about it and showing you examples in the description. The bottom line is that intelligence is error correction. Computers can correct their mistakes a lot faster than we men can. ChatGPT can also write computer code too. So maybe we can use it to write our own pro-male AI. Wouldn't that be something? The simps working with women never would have actually imagined that and seen that coming. The thing that scares me the most is all the disgruntled looking feminists working for open AI. They probably never received enough of Chad's attention so now they're going to punish every man out there that isn't Chad. She'll keep Chad in a cage for when she's copulating. If we're not careful, that's where we're going to go. But if AI eliminates most women's jobs first, then it's a completely different story. 
I think that's more likely the outcome in the short term. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again to Red Pill Ronin for the donation and topic. Don't forget to smash the like button the way that feminists will smash men with software that's programmed into a Boston Dynamics battle bot because Chads didn't want her during her childhood. Bang the bell and check out the mystery link. Follow me on BitChute, Twitter, and Facebook to get tomorrow's video today. Subscribe to me on Minds, Odyssey, MGTOW.TV, and Rumble to get the video for the day after tomorrow. This channel's been demonetized. And if you want to help me keep making content, then please support me through Subscribestar. There's a link to it in the description. Or you can do an hour-long coaching chat with the same man for $45. US dollars, And it won't rush you out the door like a cheap whore. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. And remember, a red pill a day keeps the technological totalitarianism and dystopia where you might be one of the lucky men living in a cage on call to impregnate dozens of land whales away. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.